just an RV right in the middle of the park, just piles and piles of garbage. A giant dog walking in the middle of the park. Okay, yeah. I might be driving on a on a bike trail right now, but this this is the homeless camp here on the east side of Madison. Pallets, tents, 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 tent city, tent city, tent city. Oh, this is. Okay, I'm definitely, definitely driving on a bike trail right now. Somehow this is not, I'm gonna just go over the grass. Probably that is the least illegal thing that has happened here. Just six miles away from the Wisconsin State Capitol here on East Washington, right near the East Town Mall here in Madison, a homeless encampment, which just started with a few tents last year, has now grown into a population of over 150. Dozens and dozens of tents, you have RVs, you literally have cars with no wheels on them placed in the middle of the woods here. This is right next to a residential neighborhood. This is also a park where kids will have their soccer competitions and so forth. The city council and the mayor are doing nothing about this. It has grown into a massive encampment. This east side of Madison also has serious problems with drugs, prostitution, car theft, shootings, other crimes. And now you have, in the middle of a deadly pandemic, a gigantic and massive encampment growing. Piles and piles of garbage outside of people's RVs. I'm honestly afraid to walk through it of the possibility that either this camera could get stolen or I could step on a needle. These people need housing, many even need drug rehabilitation, many of them even need to be institutionalized. These people need serious help, but allowing them to just do this, it's not good for them, it's not good for the city, it's not good for anybody. One target shopping cart, two target shopping cart. A massive fireplace. You drove by last year and you would see maybe six tents. Now it's easily 30 or 40 tents on top of that RVs, cars parked in the woods, and you got one, two, three RVs right there in the parking lot. Back in the woods over there, you've got many more RVs. Not just a drug bag, just a drug bag. Hey, meanwhile, right across the street, Popeyes is paying 12 bucks an hour for a team member, 15 bucks an hour for a, a manager. For a moment there, I really thought that I was possibly going to get mugged for this camcorder. Right here on the other side of the park at uh, tennis court. Nice, some nice trees. Oh, there's a shopping cart here. What we got for, oh, just um, looks like, uh, like somebody burned their tent or got some cans. This is just a uh, campsite. Maybe they were... Jesus, that smells like shit. Now, right behind me, you've got families uh, having, you know, soccer games. And, you know, just a few feet away, you've got, you know, breakaway encampments from the main encampment. Far west side of the park, we can see, you know, one RV there, another RV there. Right in the center, that's where the real epicenter is. That's where you're gonna see the, the cars with no wheels, the massive piles of garbage and so forth. Some sort of a, you know, splash uh, water uh, part of the park. You know, this is for the little kids and it's 70 something degrees out and no one's here, this is not operating. I don't know if the city has closed it due to COVID or because of the homeless encampment. Either way, uh, this thing built for the kids for hot days like today is not operating. However, bam, homeless encampment in the middle of the woods, cars with no wheels, with stereo systems, massive stereo systems set up. That was a child driving a moped. Here we can see uh, what looks like a police cruiser. 
parked on the grass, but it's not. Pop-up camper. Let's see, how many tents? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Just on this twenty, twenty-one. Just on this side alone. I'm at the end of the Wendy's in the back of the parking lot. And if I go over this trail, I am in the heart of the encampment. This is not a good idea. Walk very slowly. All right, so as I can see a man with a stroller there, that's, that's totally normal. And here you can see a, a car with no wheels on it. Another car with no wheels on it. There's a car with wheels on it. Port a potty. Uh, we got an RV with massive piles of garbage. A uh, shanty made out of pallets. Another tent uh, made out of what looks like just blankets. Um, um, or just a bed strewn out there. And I don't know what that is. You got a tree that's been graffiti. And if I bet if I go another 50 feet that way, it gets even spookier. Oh, look at massive, massive piles of garbage there. After walking through the park, here, it is a thousand times worse than I could have imagined. A employee from one of the shops right next to it just pointed out some heroin needles. That one's got a cap on it. There's one in the uh, parking lot in front towards the back row of spaces. It is absolutely unbelievable what is going on here. These people need housing. These people need drug rehabilitation. Some of them need to be institutionalized for their own good. You have a homeless encampment here with over 150 people. You have RVs, cars without wheels, massive amounts of tents, shanties, piles and piles of garbage, needles on the ground, right next to a residential neighborhood, right in the middle of this park where kids are playing soccer, where there at least used to be some sort of a water park part of the park for the kids and the, the whole park has just been taken over this is a massive atrocity and get these people help and why are the why is the city government not taking serious action why is the mayor throwing event after event after event at the library and doing some honorary first kick at a soccer game when this is going on Meanwhile, in the city of Madison, cars are being stolen every single day. People are shooting at each other on the highway that goes through Madison. There are massive amounts of problems and they're allowing all of this to go on in the middle of a deadly pandemic. No COVID safety protocols there going on. It's just a massive, insane disaster.